Hello everyone, and welcome back to Melissa's Louisiana Beehive. You guys have been following this series, it's been a while since I did an update on this. You can see that she added a second hive here, but it was a couple weeks ago that uh, we were out here and actually the bees were doing something that she had never seen them do before. And looking at the bees, it kind of looked like they were getting ready to swarm or they were swarming. So what she did was put on the bee suit that uh, afternoon and she went ahead and opened up the hive. Okay. Are you going to open all that up or just put the other box on yeah, there? I'm going to open it all up. Okay. This last one looks like it doesn't have anything on it. This time those bees are not very happy. Just watch one of the cats get stung twice. And what she found in there, of course, was something she had never seen before. This is the first time she's doing bees. That's why you guys are kind of following along with this series, because we're doing bees for the very first time. And uh, there was four queen cells that were in this second hive over here on the right. And they only make queen cells when they're going to swarm. Also, when she opened it up, one of the uh, combs was completely ripped open. Yeah, I know not completely, but there was honey that was running down. So it was definitely time that she had to get a hold of uh, the bee guy, Bruce. So she did, and then he came over.
if you live down here in Louisiana in this area, you know, he's the bee man. Everybody knows who Bruce is. So, and he and he's the one that she bought the original nook from. So he's a real nice guy, real helpful. He came over and took a look at it, and what he thinks happened that first time was that they did like a pre-swarm, and uh, but they didn't take off. But when he opened up that hive, the queen had definitely was gone, so she had swarmed, and uh, some of them went with her. And the reason why they open up the comb is because they gorge themselves on the honey because they, when they're going to find a new home, they don't know when the next time is they're really going to eat. So anyway, they were here for, oh, he must have been here for at least an hour. And he got, these bees were mad. He ended up getting stung and, and it was just a mess. So after Bruce was here and took a look, you know, the reason why they swarmed was because there was just too many bees on the right one. And you really couldn't tell. I mean, Melissa was in there and you guys saw some of the clips. Some of the frames really had nothing going on in them. And he said that's because you need to wipe beeswax on them when they're the plastic ones or sometimes the bees really want nothing to do with them. So what they did then is they removed the yellow, um, the second box that went on there. And then he took some of the frames out of this one. Now, when that queen left, she had laid the four queen cells. Uh, one of them got ruined when uh, Melissa was moving things around in there. So he grafted one of them onto a frame because they were all on the same frame. And then put that frame with, along with, I don't know if it was one or two frames, over on the left hand side. This one here had a queen that had hatched, but she was still a virgin queen. So she's in this one, along with, uh, I think, two other queen cells that had not hatched. So if she does go up, gets bred, becomes a real queen, comes back down, she will then go ahead and kill the other two queen cells, and then she will, like, you know, rule the hive. So where we're at right now is she's not supposed to open up either of these hives for one month, which is approximately three more weeks. And then she can go ahead and open it up, and then as soon as this one starts to get filled up a little bit, then she'll put the second box on top of this. And then from there, she's going to, then when that gets full, she'll put the, the littler box on top so that she can get the honey out of it. This one here is going to just grow the bees, and then when this one gets full, they're going to split the hive again. Then she can keep go ahead and, and you know, keep um, making different hives, but at the same time, she'll be able to collect honey. So anyway, so for the next three weeks or so, these guys are just, we have been feeding the ones on the left there because there's not as many bees in that one. And uh, we'll just wait and see. And then a month from now or three weeks from now, she can open this up, see how it is. But it's very important now, she knows, that she has to open up this hive about every 10 days and check and see exactly what's going on. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We're all up to date on the beehive. I hope I did okay on that. <laughs> She's definitely the bee girl. She knows more what's going on. Anyway, like I said, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.